everyone. For today's lesson, all you're gonna need is this little baggie. Now, you're gonna see that there's matzah on this side. Just keep that in there for right now. We're gonna use that later. But all we're really needing for this activity are marshmallows, cotton balls, and a piece of paper and a marker. Uh, so today's lesson that we're gonna be reading is the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. John the Baptist was always talking about Jesus. He talked and talked and talked. The day after John baptized Jesus, he saw Jesus walking towards him on a busy road. Look everyone, the Lamb of God, John said. To all of the people around him, John told everyone about how God sent Jesus to earth. He let the people know that Jesus was the Lamb of God, which meant he would save everyone from the bad things that they did in their lives. Then he explained what had happened after he baptized Jesus. A dove came down from heaven and God said, this is my son who I love and I am well pleased. Day after day, whenever John saw Jesus, he told the crowds that Jesus was the Lamb of God. As people heard what John said, they became followers of Jesus too. Wow, that's so cool. So obviously we see Jesus right here. He's not a real lamb, right? And did you guys happen to find Squiggles? There he is. He's not really a lamb, right? He's a person, but it's just something that they called him. He was the Lamb of God. And so right now we are in Lent. And of course, we've been doing all of our Lent in a bag activities. Well, this is one that I really had wanted us to start at the very beginning of Lent, but because we had all of that snow and ice and our power was out and people didn't have water, we had to kind of put a little delay in this, didn't we? So what we are making today is kind of like, you remember back when we did an advent calendar? And we had also done an advent wreath and we lit the candles, but it was all preparing for Christmas, right? I figured we could make something that would be helping us to prepare for Lent. So Lent is 40 days long. And sometimes when we start getting into it, we're kind of like, wait, are we there yet? <laughs> is it finally Easter yet? Are we still in Lent? And many people also give something up for Lent. And so let's say you're somebody who, who gave up chocolate or candies or something like that. You might be thinking, whew, when is Lent gonna be over? But it's a time for us to really be focusing on God and on Jesus and the sacrifices that Jesus made for each and every one of us. So I want us to remember that Jesus is the Lamb of God and count down all of those days going up to Easter. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your paper and you are going to draw a lamb. So this is my drawing of a lamb. You can draw your lamb however you want to draw it. We just need to make sure that our lamb, whether it's a he or she, is very puffy because we are going to be sticking on a lot of cotton balls for our lamb. And so you'll get out, look in your, uh, your bag, and you'll see that you have cotton balls. Now, if I had given you 40 cotton balls, we would have a very, very, very puffy lamb. So what I did was I gave you 20 cotton balls. And so what I'm going to have you do is take your cotton ball, and we are going to split it in half. That way we have smaller cotton balls to stick onto our lamb, because we are going to be sticking one on every day. Now you have 40, but I know, like I said, we're starting a little bit late because of the weather. So if you wanna catch up, that's totally fine. Now there's something else that makes me think of cotton balls. And you know, when we open our advent calendars, like my advent calendar growing up always had a piece of chocolate in it. So I gave you guys all little marshmallows so that each day you get to stick on your cotton ball and you get to eat one of your marshmallows. Mmm, so good. But if you're somebody who gave up candy or sugar, we can always replace that with some other kind of treat for you to have. Um, maybe that's, you get to open, like one of my advent calendars now for Christmas, I open up and I have a little Harry Potter figure that I put in every time, just because I really like Harry Potter. And then I pack them all up for the next year. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cotton ball and you can put 
glue or tape on the back and then stick it right on. And so now my lamb has one cotton ball on. By the end, they're gonna have 40 cotton balls on. It's gonna look amazing. So I can't wait to see what your lamb looks like because I know they're all gonna be a little bit different from each other. And I definitely wanna see how your lamb looks at the end. As we count our way all the way until Easter, until Lent is over. Now, another good thing that you can be doing is adding something during Lent. You don't always just have to give something up. So one thing that I'm doing every day is I'm listening to my, I have an audiobook of my Bible um, because I like to listen to it when I'm driving. So I'm trying to go through the whole Bible during Lent. Now my Bible setup is designed to get you through it in a year and I'm trying to shorten that. So we'll see if I really can make it, but that's my goal. So I want you to think, is there something that you can really try to do during these next 40 days? Maybe something that brings you closer to God or helps you to do the things that God is asking for us to do here on earth to help one another. I think you're gonna be great at that. So think about it. Is there something we can give up? Is there something that we can take on? So please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for this time of Lent. I know sometimes it can be a struggle. We know that you wandered the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, and that was a long time. And we can also think about other people in the Bible. You know, Noah and his family, they were in the flood for 40 days and 40 nights as it rained. There's a lot of people who've gone through this amount of time and we can see that many changes can happen and we can grow closer to you during this time. Help us to keep track of each and every one of these days and do something special for you within all of it. In your name we pray, amen. Bye guys.